Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back with the final show of the week. We're going to get into Fabio Worldly and David Adelay uh, in, a, in a real fun heavyweight fight that's certainly going to end in a knockout, uh, I, I would think. Both these guys are huge punchers uh, and defensively flawed, so I, I don't really see how it doesn't end in a knockout. Uh, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes actually for every big fight. Show you how to bring down the house, how to consistently make money on boxing. Um, let me... Uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't gamble. Uh, I use DraftKings. You can't even use DraftKings in Texas. Um, but if you do, I'm going to show you how to consistently make money on this sport. <clears throat> okay. Um, and uh, please also subscribe to the other town, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Um, all right, let's get into the fight. So Adelaide and Fabio Worldly. I'm a little shocked by how big the odds are because I, I thought this was going to be viewed as kind of a 50-50 fight. Uh, Worldly is 16-0, 15 knockouts. Um, and his fights really don't go past the third round, right? Uh, he's got his last couple of rounds. He, Michael Plykov won four. Gorman got knocked out in the third. Chris Healy got knocked out in the second. Daniel March got knocked out in the second. Nick Webb got knocked out in the first, right? Uh, and, and then we're going all the way back years ago, early 2021, uh, prior to that. And Nick Molina, uh, 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 Eric Molina went into the fifth, right? <clears throat> so all these fights, and he's fighting, and Richard Larte went two, right? Uh, Simon uh, Valili went, went went three went into the third, uh, but no no one Daniel Lewandowski got knocked out in the third, and, and these are decent fighters, right? Like these aren't complete pushovers, like uh, Ad Ad Adelaide fights. Um, his resume is a lot better than Adelaide's, uh, but I think Adelaide has more ability. I think Adelaide has a higher upside. I'm gonna get into Adelaide in in, in just a minute. Um, but Adelaide's won almost all his fights by knockout too, except for the one that he didn't, which a lot of people think he lost. And we'll get into that in just a minute. Um, you know, the, the good thing about Worldly is he's got a lot of balls. He's a fun heavyweight. He's pretty athletic. He's pretty quick. Um, I think he's really only got power in one hand. I, I think his power, his knockout power really just lies in his right hand. He's got this really good, um, Chopping right hand. You know, he's got a quick jab that he doesn't really bring back, and you can counter it. He strikes quickly. Um, and he does his best work when he's hurt, it appears, and he gets hurt in almost every fight. And that's why I think this is going to be an explosive, fun, but quick fight. Like, I don't see this fight really going more than five. And we're going to get to the over-under in just a bit. Um, I, I don't see this going deep into the fight. Um you know, it's a schedule 12. I, I think that's immaterial. I, I don't think we're going anywhere near 12. Um, you know, Fabio doesn't move his head much. He doesn't really, you know, get his hand, doesn't really get his hand back on the phone. He, he, he's easy to hit. Um, he's defensively flawed, but he's a big hitter. He's athletic. He's pretty quick. Um, and he's got really big power in the right hand. Um, and he's got a decent resume against. Michael Pike Coffey, Nathan Gorman, Richard Lark. Like he's got decent, you know, nothing of great or shattered names, but he's got quality names. So we know that it works against higher level of competition. Um, he, he comes forward. He's a come forward fighter. I, I'm hearing people that say he's going to box him up the back, but he's not going to do that. When he gets hit and he inevitably gets hit in every fight, then it becomes he smells blood. He does his best work when he's hurt. Adelaide's going to be able to hurt him because Adelaide can punch. Adelaide may be quicker than him. And that's kind of the issue I have with Worley. How is he going to react to a fighter who's as fast or faster than him? When we both throw at the same time and I don't land first, what does that do to his psyche? Um, Adelaide is got really bad habits. He crushes his feet. He gets sloppy. Like he, he looks he, like he doesn't know exactly what he is. He can fight going backwards. He's got two fisted power. Like, if I was scouting these two guys, I would say Adelaide is the better fighter. You know, he's a little herky-jerky and stuff, but 
like there's more good things I see in Adelaide, right? They're about the same height. One guy is six four and a half, two fifty. Like guy six five, two forty. Typically, um, you know, Adelaide is very fast, two fisted. He's got a tremendous left hook, um, and he can, like I said, he, he can fight going backwards. He also doesn't really go deep into fights, so I don't see this fight going deep. I, I see someone getting stopped. I can't see both these guys. You know, uh, in his last fight. Um, Adelaide finished five. Um, and if I fought with Bezos, it got knocked out in the second. Elvis Garcia, second. Chris Healy, uh, fourth. And a six-round distance was Sokolowski. And a lot of people think Sokolowski won that fight. Now, this is a non-title um, fight in, in your call in, in, in England. So the referee scores the fight. He had it 58-57. I Imagine he had an even round. That's how he got there. Uh, in, in, and and Sakalowski is a has a record of 10, 21, and 2. This doesn't speak well. 10, 21, and 2 is a guy that he got lucky to get a win against, right? Um, Sakalowski's been knocked out four times in his 28. He's got 28 losses now. He gets, he's just lost to Fraser Clark. He lost. He got knocked out by Jalov. He lost to Otto Baylin. All right, so like kind of every Solomon uh, Descartes beat him. Adelaide beat him. Barry, you know, everyone he fights, um, Cash Ali um, beat him. So everyone kind of beats him. Um, Lucas Brown beat him. So this is not a good look. Say a lot of people think that Sakalowski won this fight. I think Sakalowski is originally from Poland, and now he fights out of the UK. Um, I mean, this is a guy we've seen, and we've seen him only lose. So it's not a great sign. And I said, I, I think Adelaide is, 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 is the more gifted fighter. I think he's got the higher ceiling. Will he ever reach that ceiling? I don't know. He's got a quick jab, good power. Like I said, He's very fast. He can throw in combination, but you can see he, he shells up sometimes and, and, and he won't throw a lot. And it just seems like he's not putting it all together. And the other thing I want to point out is his resume is so trash, right? Like uh, Adelaide's resume is so, it, 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 it's, it's hard. To, it, like, it's so garbage. It, it, it is just so garbage. Like I'm gonna go through this with you. I'm gonna I'm gonna share this with you guys real quick. I just pulled up this box right. I want everyone. I, I'm not making this up. This is how trash his resume is. Pop ups all over the place here. Amir Amatovich, Dmitry Bezos, Elvis Garcia, Chris Healy, Dominic Musil. Laden, I mean, look at this, guys. Look at this. This is horrible. David Preston, Dave Bue, Danny. I, this is, and he's 12 fights in now. He's 26 years old. Why is this still the level of competition that he's fighting? It's not a great look. Let, let's get into, let's get into the odds. Um. And this is a really hard fight to bet, fight to bet because the odds I don't like them. <clears throat> I've been going back and forth on this. Like I think Adelaide at plus two two thirty is 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 a decent bet. Like there's really good value and there's not good value in Fabio Wardley at minus three ten. But what are you gonna do? Uh, so I'm gonna take Fabio Wardley at minus three ten. And I'm going to take uh, the under at minus 125. And I'm going to take Worldly uh, under 140. I, I think under 7.5 is a good bet because someone's getting knocked out in this fight. I, I wouldn't do it two times. I don't think it's that good of a bet. But I'm going to take – you know, I'm not even going to take this Worldly by TKO. Um. I would do this actually. You could do that. It's, it's it's they're really not good bets. The under seven and a half is is what I like. 
And I'm going back and forth on betting. This is a really difficult fight to bet because the odds are so bad on this. Um, I, I do think Wardley's going to win, and everybody speak to kind of hymns and hoes, and then says Wardley too, right? Um, so I'm going to take Wardley on the money line. A hundred dollar bet's going to make me thirty two twenty five. Uh, under seven and a half is going to make me eighty. So I, right there, I, I've made my odds better. Should he get there? That's one twelve. I've made on the bet. If you want to, right, one twelve twenty five on a two hundred dollar bet. It's not terrible. It's better than you know two to one. Uh, if you wanted to, the other alternative I would do is just bet this a hundred on Worley to win by KO TKO DQ. Just bet that. Forget the other two and just bet that. So I, I would do one of two things: just bet Worley by KO TKO DQ that you give yourself the extra rounds. I don't think you'll need it. Uh, and that'll pay seventy one forty two. If you wanted to make a two hundred dollar bet, it would pay you one forty two eighty five. So th- that's actually paying you better. Um, you know that would be probably be what I would do. But I, you know, just to show you guys, because I will always pick the winner. I will always take the money line on the money line. You take worldly at a hundred, and you take under seven and a half, and you make one hundred and twelve dollars on a two hundred dollar bet. It's not great, but I think it's, you know, I, I, I think it's inevitable. But I, I honestly, I think the better bet, if you know, we're taking Worley to win by KO TKO, is just bet that the money's better. Let me know what you guys think. Is anyone taking Adelaide in this fight? Uh, if you are, there there are really good odds. Does anyone take this fight to go longer than than seven and a half? Um, does anyone take the over? I want to talk to those people because neither none of neither one of these guys have been that deep, and they are both explosive. They are both flawed, and like I said, Worldly does his best work when he's hurt. Right when he's hurt, he's either going to get knocked out or knock you out. So I don't see this fight going very very long into the fight. I, I was listening to, to Punch Perfect. Um, if you guys know Punch Perfect um, on YouTube, I, I think he's got a really good channel, and I, I just wanted his take too. And, and he said Worldly by points. I can't say I, I didn't. I like him a lot, but I don't agree with his analysis on this fight at all. We're gonna see. I think this is gonna be a head-on collision. He thinks it's gonna be a boring fight. I can't see it being a boring fight. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow uh, Three Box, Three Box Blog, all forms of social media. Uh, get uh, the best boxing advice, the best boxing uh, gambling advice uh, anywhere on the internet, and also. I'll put my resume up against anyone. You guys can go through the history of these videos. Uh, also, um, please follow the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. From Texas to the world, thank you, and God bless.